In this video, we will explain why it's important to have knowledge about different tools, what are already used in the company or what could be implemented to ensure effective mentoring process and workflow. As tools, we define different technical and non-technical solutions to manage your workflows. And remember, there is no universal tool for everybody. It's relevant to find the answer on the following question. Why it's important to choose the right tools for the mentorship? There are a lot of different tools available to plan, to follow, to evaluate the mentorship and apprenticeship. Additionally, many companies already are using, for example, quality management systems, what consist different phase for collecting and analyzing data. Choosing the right tool for this process has the following advantages. You are organized, you know always the next step, you are steering the mentorship consciously. You can see problems in early phase, you are collecting important information about apprentice for the evaluation process. There is no right tool what is perfect for everybody. Some prefer online tools like project management software, where you can give access, for example, to university supervisor, and why not to apprentice. Others believe in notebooks. They are writing all important information by hand, and the written information is more personal than official notes for everybody. It's important that the tool is flexible and collected information is forming a wider view. It helps to see problems in early phase. Popular tools for planning, problem solving, analyzing are mind map, problem tree, different matrix approaches like SWOT. This kind of mapping tools help you to analyze through different processes and you already see possible deviation during the planning. It helps also to draw down your strategy milestones to reach your goals. What possibilities a good tool for mentoring must have? It should make clear visible the objectives of the mentoring and the apprenticeship. Possibility to add tasks and to follow time schedule. Possibility to analyze and give feedback to the apprentice and to the apprentice contribution. Possibility to collect input from the apprentice for example, problems what could be handled differently. In conclusion, with the tool, you must be able to follow, to plan, to change, to evaluate the whole apprenticeship. For example, we can use SWOT for analyzing the mentorship plan. In SWOT analyzer, we find the strengths, the weaknesses, opportunities, threats of the topic what we want to analyze. In this example, strengths could be detailed description of tasks. One example of weaknesses could be the mentoring plan is very complex and takes a lot of time for the mentor. Or it's not possible to plan all the tasks in the beginning of the apprenticeship. You can use this approach for different situations. Don't forget tools what you already have in your company, like quality management system, rules for procedures, work safer than help, or something else. It's important to introduce these documents and to help the apprentice to understand the content. Because for the apprentice, it is the first contact with this kind of documents.